Hi everyone, Royal Shrove here and today we're going to talk about continuous delivery and why the hell do we even want that? You see, I used to have a, uh, a product owner that asked me the exact same question. He said, well, we're doing releases every three weeks um, and I'm quite happy with that, so what's the point? Why do you even want to do continuous delivery? Um, and at the beginning I didn't have a really good answer um, and I thought about it and 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 I came up with an answer which I think you'll like. But first I want to explain what's the point of what is continuous delivery. To me, continuous delivery is sits is a combination of automated builds and continuous integration to the point of delivering things all the way to the customer. Um, so in a beautiful delivery uh, um, chain, I should be able to see all the way that the code makes from being written and to the customer and I should be able to see it in a visual way and in an automated way and I should be able to to, to get notifications and visual um, and visual cues on what's really going on but when I was doing all that uh, at, at one of my projects you know I was all having fun and setting up Team CD and all these cool things I really, and as I said, I had the product owner ask me, why the hell are you doing all this? Everything is going just fine. What's the problem here? It's not like there was a big problem that you were trying to solve. And I thought about it for, for, for a long time because I didn't have a good answer. Because at the beginning I thought, well, why am I doing this? Am I just playing with technology for technology's sake? It's just me that likes to automate things, but the product owner is happy, so what's the point? And I thought about it more and more, and I, and I ended up with this answer. Um, and the answer started with a question. Um, and the question was, what if I told you if you could only compile your code every three weeks, right? You could write code for three weeks long, but you wouldn't know how well it fared towards the compiler in reality. Uh, so you would write the code, and on the third and the, and, the, and the last day of the third week, you'd get a compilation. And then you'd see all the stuff that went wrong, and then you'd have three more weeks to fix everything, and also to add new features, uh, etc., etc., etc. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? But that's exactly what we have solved with having continuous compilation. Today we have continuous compilation. We write code, and we almost immediately know whether it lives up to the standards of the compiler or it doesn't whether it faces reality or it doesn't. Um, okay, so that's one, one uh, feedback mechanism that we can get very fast. What about the next feedback mechanism? What about tests? What if I told you you could only run tests uh, once every three weeks, right? Even the unit tests, all the automated stuff, you would only get to run them once every three weeks. How would that feel? And unfortunately, some teams today even still do have that problem. But a lot of teams would say, what, are you kidding me? Three weeks to run all the unit tests? I, I would need to run them every day, every time I need to change the code. Because that would be horrible to write code for three weeks and not get feedback that what you're doing not just compiles, but actually runs and does what it's supposed to do. So today, luckily for us, and because of the work of many, many people in the open source movements, um, we have uh, continuous testing. We have the ability to run tests continuously and get feedback as quickly as possible so that we don't end up working on the wrong thing for a long time. But what's the next meta level after that? What if we could only deploy to the customer machine once every three weeks? Which is exactly what we are facing these days in a lot of teams. Deployment is the next stage of feedback. We could be working for three weeks on the wrong thing. Yes, it would, might compile, it might run as we stated it that it should run, but when the customer sees it, does it actually run on the customer's machine? Does the customer actually want what they just got? We don't know until we actually get the customer to take a look. And so if we have to wait three weeks, that's three weeks we could be working on the wrong thing or in the wrong direction. So continuous deployment is the process of measuring the code that we wrote against the harsh reality, which is the customer. Without actually having the customer see our code, the more we are risking working on the wrong thing. And this is where continuous delivery tries to help. 
Do I have a continuous delivery? We're trying to get continuous feedback from the customer instead of just quick enough feedback or fast feedback. We're trying to get almost immediate feedback um, that at least we can deploy to the customer's machine, that all the security concerns have been met, that performance is still working the way it should have worked. Um, and just imagine having a branch, a big branch that you've been working on for three months now, and it's not on the main branch and you haven't deployed it. You're working and every day that goes by, you're farther and farther away from reality and you don't even know whether what, you, what you're doing is better or worse. And when you finally merge that branch, it's going to be a big bang merge. It's going to be difficult to actually get all the feedback. And the biggest scare for a lot of developers, I think uh, even inherently without even knowing it, is that they might be working on the wrong thing. And a lot of developers end up not having any motivation to work on the code, or just doing the simplest thing that could possibly work so they could just get it over with because they are working in a bubble. They don't get feedback. They're just working for the sake of working instead of getting feedback that their actions actually affect somebody else. And working in a bubble is the most horrible thing. Yes, it seemed like fun at the beginning, but at some point, you just disconnected. You might as well go home after three hours or two hours. You might as well just play Tetris all day. Because if you don't get that feedback, what's it, what does it all actually mean? So hopefully with that happy thought, I hope I've explained a little bit about what continuous delivery actually means. And if, you, if you'd like to get more information, just go to beautifulbuilds.com or just contact me on Twitter at Roy Osherov. Cheers.